This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have an Electrolux gas dryer that isn't heating. We're going to be replacing the primary and secondary gas coils and also t testing it out too. So I'm pulling it away from the wall. I've removed the top panel by taking two screws out of the back and then <clears throat> lifting the panel off. So I'm making sure that the electrical connections are tight that go between the control panel and the different features of the dryer. Next thing I'll do is remove the um, front panel and That'll allow me access to get to the primary and secondary gas coils. Just testing the unit now though to see if I can hear <coughs> the um, click from the gas coils and then the igniter fire up. It sounds like it clicks on but then it doesn't stay on long enough. That can be due to a, a blocked vent tube or it can be due to worn out gas coils. I'm going to lift the dryer up a little bit, put it on top of this plastic box so I have better access to the screws underneath the um, front panel. If you don't lift it up, they're pretty hard to get to. They're just two Phillips head screws. So I'll pull those out, and then I've got to remove some more screws from the front panel. This is also how you would get in to do a belt change or um, if you're going to change the igniter. I'm taking out these two longer screws and these are holding on the front panel also and they go into uh, the plastic filter assembly behind it. I'm taking out these two screws on the upper right and upper left hand corner they're holding on the control panel. Now I should be able to rock the control panel toward me and lift up, and I'm going to just kind of set that out of the way. This exposes a few more screws that I have to remove. One here in the upper left-hand corner of the control panel, one in the upper right-hand corner. Get those off. Now I can lift that front panel up and off of the dryer. I'm just going to put it off to the side. I'm going to leave the door switch connected because I'm going to be doing a test here in a second to see what's going on. So now I'm removing these two screws at the bottom of this panel, the bulkhead, which is holding the rollers, which kind of support the uh, tumbler. I take out these screws that are holding on the front of the control panel, or the, I'm sorry, the bracket that holds the controller. And now I can lift that bulkhead up and out of the way. I'm keeping its wires connected too. I'm going to reach in and press the idler wheel to the side so I can take the belt off of the motor pulley and I can pull out the tumbler. Now I have really good access to all the different parts. So I'm going to plug it back in. Be careful here because this is a live test. You have electricity flowing through the unit. I'm going to select a drying cycle and make sure that the back of the control panel, none of the metal pieces are touching anything metal. Press start and then <clears throat> I can hear it fire up. I'm going to look at the igniter see if it's glowing okay and I'm going to see if I notice a flame start. It sounds like the flame starts but then it goes out too fast. With it open like this you don't have the fan cooling the system so the flame won't stay on very long because the, uh, the thermal cutoff above the uh, heat tube will heat up too fast because there's no, there's no airflow. There's no fan blowing on it. So the igniter looks pretty good. a little bit for it to there it ignited. Um, the flame just doesn't stay very long. So I'm going to go ahead and remove and replace the 
I'm going to unplug it first, remove and replace the primary and secondary gas coils. Pretty easy to do. Just two Phillips head screws holding in this bracket. Remove those. We'll take the bracket off and then I can pull the coil off of the assembly and then I can remove its electrical modular connector. Here's the new coils. This is on an Electrolux dryer. It's very similar to the Frigidaire dryers too. And I'm going to pull the connector off. Going to kind of wiggle and pull at the same time. And on the stem of the uh, where the gas coil sits, there's a little metal sleeve, and I want to take that off and put it into the new gas coil that I'm replacing. It's kind of like a, a shim that goes between the to make the surfaces a little, uh, fit really well. And I'm going to make sure that the there's a little plastic piece at the end of this gas coil that that points out, making sure it's pointed out to my left. And then I'm going to do the same on the skinnier one. I'm going to pull it off, <clears throat> get the new one in position, make sure the little plastic um, nub is pointing out to my left, get that on the stem, and I'll put the bracket back on, and then I'll put the screws back in that hold it. You may be able to do this too without removing the tumbler. Probably will be room if you're certain that it's the gas coils. I needed to remove the tumbler, the tumbler though so I could do that live test. I had to make sure the belt was off. So I'm going to tighten up those two screws holding on the bracket, and then I'll put the electrical connectors for each of the coils back on, make sure it's fully seated. The smaller one first, get it all the way up there, and then the bigger one. And make sure that you don't bend the little tangs are coming off of the gas coil. Just take your time. Do it gently, but make sure it's all the way up. All right, I'm going to plug it back in. Do that same test again. Again, be careful. This is a live test. Press start. <clears throat> I'm going to stare at the igniter and see what it's doing. Again, I have the door closed and the door switch still connected, so the dryer thinks that the door is closed and it, that'll allow it to start. So the igniter's starting to glow, getting hotter and hotter, and then it should ignite the flame, and the flame should stay on for a little bit. This type of test is unusual again because there's no airflow, so it'll overheat pretty fast. So you only want to do this for a few seconds. Looks good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. Got it unplugged. I'm going to put the tumbler back in push it all the way back on its back rollers and then I'll go ahead and put the belt on. To put the belt on I'll make sure that it's sitting back where it was. You can kind of see where the belt used to ride on the tumbler. It, it leaves a mark and then I'll pull the tumbler, oh, I'm sorry, I'll pull the uh, belt idler to the side and then get it onto the motor pulley. Then it's good to turn the tumbler a couple of times by hand to make sure the belt won't run off. I disconnected the connection for the door switch. Now I'm going to put the manifold back on and lift it up so it's, the wheels are supporting the front of the tumbler. And I'm going to get it back into its position on the frame. And then I'll add the bottom two screws. We're not going to add the top ones, but just the bottom right and bottom left hand screws. All right, I'm going to put the control bracket back into the front bulkhead and then add the two screws that hold it. Alright, 
I'm going to put the front panel back on. I'll reconnect the door switch. I'll get the panel in position and then I'm going to go ahead and put in the Phillips head screws on the upper right, upper left hand corner to hold the top in. right one there's the left one you put those longer ones in with the more aggressive threads they're designed to go into plastic and then there's two at the bottom so we have to lift up the dryer and put in those little two that sit at the bottom. Here's the control panel. We slide it in and then we'll add the two screws in the uh, upper left and also upper right. So a flame that goes out too soon could be caused by a bad primary or secondary gas coils, could be caused by uh, igniter that's getting weak, can also be caused by restricted airflow, like if the uh, vent tube is obstructed or crimped, can make it overheat and it'll cut out, it'll cut out a little bit too soon. So putting those screws back in that hold in the control panel. We'll plug it in and test it out, see if it's going to heat better now. So what I'm hoping for is that it ignites, but the flame stays on for anywhere between two to three minutes. You can't see it, but you can hear when it clicks in. You can hear the flame start. You can hear the, the sound of the gas rushing in. You could also feel on the back uh, where the vent tube connects to see if you feel the hot air. And that did correct the problem. So I hope it helps for you on your Electrolux gas dryer. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance.